Hey Internet, Colorful Artie and Link the Hero 64 are back for more Fire Emblem. Yo. In Laos, Eric tells a wood of a plan, a plot to use Laos as starting ground in a rebellion against Ostia. Elwood needs proof to believe these accusations, and so, he and his allies pursue Darren, the flea Marquis of Laos. So let's, I mean, let's be honest, like, Elwood is just a true American. He needs proof. Yeah, yeah. innocent until proven guilty. Elwood's a belief. Heck yeah! <laughs> I bet a lot of people hate that voice already, even though we've only used it, like, <laughs> Well, nobody does years. yet, because none of the videos are up yet. Well, that's true. A little, that's a little peek behind the scenes. Blast! Where on earth has that snake Darren gone? Doubt he's left Lysia yet, but Hector, it's been five days. The death of Mark was sent What are they doing for five days? Uh, just hanging out at the Sitting castle, I guess. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Listening to Marcus's stories, that dude has stories. Oh, he's, Marcus has definitely he's, seen, he's some, seen stuff. some stuff. For sure. How old is Marcus supposed to be? Because he's in Fire Emblem 6, but he's like very old. That. And that's like what, 30 years later? 25, 30? I'm gonna be generous and say it's like 20 years. I think a boy is like 16 or 18 in that. So you're saying like as soon as this game ends, Elwood's like popping out a kid? Yeah! Because during the epilogue, like, he's getting married pretty much a year after this. But then the epilogue is, oh, you're, I guess you're right. Spoiler alert, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, the person. And here's Mark. The person uh, Elwood marries um, depends on your support. Yeah, and if you he does, if he doesn't right, get I, an I, A I, rank okay. with I'll, any girl, I'll, I'll say the girl depends on your <laughs> Right, he gets there, married. There's a cool one of him, like him and Hector, like eh, buddies. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. I can't remember if I actually have that one. Yeah, so a little behind the scenes here, we had okay, we had played this game, or I'll let you go first. Okay. So Lynn and Kent on the same field, and. Let's see. You last got Priscilla, so yep. I guess I get to pick. I'll pick Lynn, since A, I doubt I'll get a lot of sword units, and B, you don't have. You get Kent. I know. I know. Lynn's really good, though. I mean, I, guess I might kinda, be up she's for like a better. She's like a better guy. And then I get Sane. <laughs> Which means I get Will. And I, we'll see. Who gets a pure. pure the only other character who's there. And Florina. Okay, yeah, you get Will, and I get Florina. Florina, I'm probably not going to use. Lot. I might trade for Will. Let me see. Just because, like, I don't need two archers. Right. Sane is great. He's a ladies man. Kent's like his cool, like, I thought maybe brother, but I guess they're like they're, brother, they're, they're they're brothers friends. in arms. Yeah. Anyways, what I was saying earlier is uh, sneak peek behind the scenes. Our save data on this actually got corrupted sometime. The save yeah. battery is not dead. Because uh, it saves fine now, but we lost all of our support conversations, yeah, it was which was awful. devastating. I we think probably, we actually have more now, though. We probably do, but we had, like, I think almost 70% back then. It was crazy. I know, definitely not. There were whole characters we didn't have any supports with. <laughs> Wallace! We had a lot of the... No, it's a Wallace one. You did? I think so. We had a lot of weird ones with, like, Merlinus and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think I have all the Merlinus supports Sane now. is a total ladies' man, although he's not yeah. actually lucky. Yeah, Sane has one. probably one of the biggest personalities in the game. Yeah, he's a character. I mean, he's a kind of like a, he's kind of like a pig as well. Yeah, a metaphorical pig. Oh yeah, Commander Bocker. Oh, and this also introduces ballistas, if you did not encounter them in a uh, wind story. Basically, archers and snipers can enter them, and uh, it's basically like a really long-range, really powerful bow. So Rebecca and Will might want to take advantage of that. For sure. Everybody, so um, Artie and I have had like the long debate over the years: who's better, Will or Rebecca? They're both good. They're both kind of different. I've been Rebecca... talking about this. Oh, have we? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. We have. That's one of the awesome uh, photos you get in the game. Sure. Oh, look, it never fails. As soon as you start recording, bam, the coffee's telling me to renew my subscription. The coffee? The coffee. Oh, McAfee. What, whatever. I thought the coffee. The coffee. <laughs> if the, hey, if there was an antivirus uh, thing called the coffee, I'd consider getting that. How is caffeine going to help in that room? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So do, you ever, do you ever get the feeling that your Mr. Coffee knows more than it's telling you? <laughs> no, I never what if get it's that like, feeling. What if it's secretly sending information to, like, the government. Korea or something? <laughs> the Korean government. Uh, no, I that's have That's a pretty good-looking bad guy as well. He's not a bandit, that's part of it. He's actually, like, a general. Or commander, I'm sorry. Mm. 
Oh, he wants to show Laos his loyalty. All right. Who that starts first good. on this one? I forget. Um, you do. I do. Yeah. So. Totally. So okay, so we each have to pick an even number of units. Right. If for any level you can only take an odd number of units, we have to each just not take. So if we can only take eleven units, we can actually only take ten. All right, Irk. So we can each get five, I think, then, right? If that's the case for the level, yeah. Okay. Actually, I mean, I might as well use that goddess icon. I was gonna say, there's not really any point in storing Free stuff, because it'll just be confusing and I might get a chance to use it. That's true. Bowen's pretty down on his luck. And I know I'm actually gonna be using Moen, so yeah. Luck doesn't affect Lowen that much. What? What role does luck play? Um, it's more like... Okay, so it's not like dodging or anything, right? That's the... I wanted to say luck is like... Your chance to like lower enemies' critical rate against you. Oh, That's... maybe. I know for like certain levels, like you can get special items if you have high right. enough luck. Here you can. Uh... Oh, here I'll get my laptop off that. Let me see. All right. Oh, she doesn't need to sit in I don't have anybody besides Marcus who can actually use it. Do you really want to give Marcus another weapon? Yeah, for now. Okay. Matthew with an iron blade. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any other sword guys. You guy. Yeah, here's an iron sword. Granted, both Matthew and Guy are not ideal for the iron blade because their constitution is so low. All right. All right. Pick. So we can only take ten. Yeah. So. So we hit on one. So we can each take five, and I have to take out. One. So I have to get rid of the guy. And get rid of Dorcas. Actually, I want Marcus. You don't want Marcus? This is, can be a tough level. Mm, I'll take him just in case. I get a lot yeah. Really I guess you really want to decide, do you even want to use Priscilla for the game? I have to, basically. She's my only healer. Until you get pent. Yeah. Yeah, there's stuff to steal. Okay. Might as well deploy Merlinus. Yeah, new music. That's true. Okay, so there's something good in there, but Florina's probably gonna be the best person to get it. Oh, yeah. we have guys over here too, right? There's a red gen, yeah, in that village. Yeah, those are pretty good. Not something like a thousand gold? No, there's like 2,500. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. They're, the gems basically exist just to be sold, and Merlinus will buy them. Also, Lin starts with a blue gem. Also, I want to say if thieves go to villages, they can uh, destroy them like bandits. Really? I think so. Oh, these are all your guys. Uh, okay. You don't want to move Kent. Oh, I forgot about them. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Also, tons of armories and shops over there. I don't think I need anything, though. They sell a lot of stuff. Because, like, Kent has a steel sword and a javelin, which aren't the best. So I think this has swords and axes. Alright. So Lin has the weapon called the Manakati, which, yes, that is a play on the pasta. I'm Wait, gonna... is it? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> That's so. That'd be such a weird thing. Well, what else would it be? All right, we have more gold now. I think it's just like like the Muramasa, or you know, like whatever. It's like it's just its own. I I'm actually gonna get Lin a slim sword. And yeah, she'll benefit from that crit rate. Yeah, Sane's good. I'm not gonna use him anyways. So Artie, how you been? It's been a while since we've done this. I've been good. I've been kind of busy making videos lately. I finally finished up my Mighty Number no. 9 playthrough. Nice. This is a lot <laughs> more fun than that was. Yeah, so, okay, so, let, I don't know how much you talked about it in your Mighty Number no. 9 video. You were riding high off of Mighty Number no. 9 at the beginning. Like, you really, I remember you said you really enjoyed it. I did. And, um, that Past seems tense. to have, I was gonna say, that seems <laughs> to have, uh, come crashing down, so why don't you so, talk about that for okay, a while? So, okay, so, 
For those of you who didn't watch my Mighty Number no. 9 playthrough, I actually didn't really talk about it in the video at all, but I what made, like, a huge five-page rant for the comments. What are you doing with an archer with it? I don't know, I was just checking to see her power. So she's gonna... Trip. You had a huge rant in the middle of the video? No, in the comment when I uploaded it, because that last level just was bad. It was bad. Like, the level itself wasn't too hard, and the boss had two forms. First form was awesome, I really liked it. The second form, it's just... Way too much precision was required for that fight. Hmm. Like, if you didn't know exactly how to beat it ahead of time, you were not going to beat it. Oh, and every time you have game over, you have to do the whole stage over again. And by the end of it, the video was running at, I think, two hours exactly. Uh -huh. And that was such a pain in the neck now, to get the audio to that down, or is, is that all? Oh, oh, yeah. I cut it down. I got it down to, like, 45 minutes at the end. Okay. But... So yeah. Okay, so, but, like, so, I know you're, you're a huge Mega Man fan. I'm a very big Mega Man fan. Um, so, that's one of the things that drove me crazy about Mega Man, too, is, like, occasionally, like, you'd go through the Wily stage or something, and the boss would just destroy you, and you'd have to do... Most Probably. of the time, it would spit you out on the boss, but occasionally, you'd have to do, like, a giant portion of the stage. Right. The thing is, Mega Man levels, when that was a problem, that's when I started to not like Mega Man, and that mainly only happened on the Fortress stages, which I'm not mm -hmm. a big fan of. Yeah. But for the Robot Master stages themselves, which I am a big fan of, they're usually very good about putting frequent checkpoints. And in addition to that, uh, Mega Man stages tend to be a lot shorter than the Mighty Number no. 9 stages, so that helps a okay. lot. Okay, I haven't played Mighty Number no. 9. It, I, it was funny because when you first were playing it, you were telling me, oh, you know, I really like it. I, I, I was surprised because everybody, all the reviews I'd read, and all the people I know who played it, they were like, oh, it's really bad. Like it, I, it, it, it's not you know. really bad, but my main problem with Mighty Number no. Nine is it could have been so much better. And I think it could have been amazing. And I think it was that that, like, you know, with, with the, you know, people kickstarted this game. They felt it was they had a connection to it, you know, because of that. Mm -hmm. And it, it and what was promised was not what was delivered. You know? I'm not sure if it was what was, what was promised. It's what could have been. Like the music was just not memorable at all. Like. The graphics, like, despite not even being all that great, caused the game to lag a fairly decent amount. Really? Yeah, like, right. I was surprised. That also kind of played into my frustrations with the final boss. But, like, the music wasn't great, the graphics weren't all that great, so I'd rather it just be 8-bit and have, like, really good 8-bit music. Mm -hmm. uh, like Mega Man 9 yeah. and 10. And you and I were talking about this earlier. I think they should just do away with the whole live system in that game. No, oh, I agree. I'm a big proponent of, like... Like, I can't oh. think of a single newish game that we're live and that benefit. we actually like. Yeah, I'm totally like, I mean, like, that. I'm fine with, like, Mario, it's cool because it's like picking up one ups is kind of nostalgic at this point. But, like, yeah. if you played, like, Rayman Origins or Rayman Legends or some of, like, a lot of, oh, just a lot of platformers nowadays, they don't have lives, they have unlimited lives. Like, Shovel Knight, unlimited yep. lives, great game. Amazing game. You, you really don't, like, I feel like the live system is kind of an outdated thing back from when games were either short. And so, like, you'd have lives to extend to the length of the game, you know? Or... Ooh, look how powerful Wii is compared to true. Rebecca. Or they're just kind of... They're left over from, you know, the arcade era. And I don't yeah. really think that you need... Um, lives anymore. Yeah, you really don't. You really don't. don't. And I know that's kind of a controversial opinion, probably, for some people. Oh, right. And like I said, like, there were a ton of issues with that. I'm like, if they had just picked, like, two of these issues and fixed them, it would have been a great game. But they didn't. Mm-hmm. And by the end of that game, I was just not having fun anymore, and if I'm not having fun playing a video game, like, why am I even playing it in the first place? I agree. Woohoo! Nice, Hector! Really cool. Well, that's too bad. Now, yeah. so, this video is obviously going to come out... Very later. <laughs> very much later. So, the Mighty Number no. 9 thing's been out for a while, obviously, yes. at this point. So what's next on your agenda? Have you picked something? Or well, are you not, I definitely want to do Pikmin to Free. I have I got that for my birthday, which was on June fifteenth, and I still haven't played it up to this point. And I've been waiting to play it for a while. I didn't play it because I'm like, well, maybe I'll do a blind let's play of it. And yeah, now I'm want to do that. I also have more humongous entertainment games to do. Oh yeah, those are good. Those are awesome. Oh, you didn't move Sarah. Do you want? Where do you want her? Oh, um, have her heal Elwood. Elwood's taking a hit. Yeah, besides that... Which, uh, Humongous Entertainment game are you on at this point? I just finished Pop-Pot Saves the Zoo, or whatever, I'm about to finish Pop-Pot Saves the Zoo. So after that, I'll have to check, but I think I'm on Freddy Fish 2 next. 
Are you playing them in chronological order, correct? Yeah, the order they came out. Yep. Oh, when only do you just do? Aw, oh, Dane. Yeah. And doesn't even attack if You twice. don't level her up in Lynn's story first. Oh man, she's bad. She's not very good. But that's not good. And you have to take her on a few stages. I've also. I actually have thought about doing a cave story let's play. Oh, cave story is so good. But I kind of want to take a break from that because I just did Mighty Number no. 9, which is another shooter it's platformer. It's kind of similar, yeah. Because I was also like, oh, Mega Man Free, and I can play it on the anniversary collection for the GameCube. But, again, same reason. Yeah, that's fair. So I'm going to take a break from that. Uh, Cave Story is another one where it just it eventually just gets brutal. Especially if you play on hard mode, which I do not have the guts to do that. Matthew, you're playing with fire there. So yeah, Hector... Oh, actually, Hector did not take as much damage from that as I thought he was going to. Lowen can make short work of him as well. Yeah. Or Florina. Florina's like one good quality. She's really good against magic units. Florina's a Pegasus Knight, which means she has got really good movement, really high speed, and really high resistance, but she's very little HP, very little defense, almost no attack, and she's super, super vulnerable to archers. So, she's very difficult to use, even when you level her up a ton. Iron Blade. Oh. Oh. That's a risk. I won't kill him. I can I'll put it. Healing. That's oh, that's true. You have Priscilla, but can Although she I'll reach? have to have Loan move first. I'll, I'll be willing to do that. Hang on, hang on. I got this. You don't want to heal Loan? It's cool. All right, I respect that. Oh man. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I think so too. But I don't think anybody else can actually reach him. And I need to level him up. Matthew levels up quickly, which is nice. He does. Not that bad. was a pretty good level up. Not bad. Him. Not bad! I almost defeated doing a one-off crazy taxi. That's a great game, too. I'm not sure if great is the right word. It's okay, super it's a, fun. It's, a it's fun super game. fun. It's actually not a great game, but it's... Although, admittedly, probably one of the less glitchy Sega games. Man, that game is glitchy as heck. Still probably one of the less good. You want me to help you with this guy or does Lin? Uh, Lin and Sane can get him. Lin's got the Manicotti. Or Manicotti, or however you pronounce it. I don't think it's a pasta pun, personally, but I'll leave you to that. Alright, alright. I'm gonna try to use Kent, I think. I'm not. I Kent don't think is I'm, very good. I don't think I'm. I mean, he's leveling up fast. So. Well, because he's like, what? Like a level 5? Five? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was a level 3. All right, well, yeah. That's cool. So, sounds like you have some good stuff in the pipe, the pipeline. Are you gonna go back to Lemmings Let's Plays? You think? Or are you taking a break uh, for yeah, a while? I am still in the middle of my break, but I would like to go back to Lemmings. Mm -hmm. I've heard there's a game called Lemmings Plus One that I've been told I would really enjoy. Ooh man, I keep forgetting Sane has really low speed, so he gets double attacked a lot. Come on, Win! Don't fail me. Yeah, she's dependable. Not really! That's the problem, because if she doesn't dodge, and it's quite frequent she doesn't dodge, ooh, she got a horse slayer. I feel like eventually if she has the Monocati equipped, she just dodges everything. Uh, that is nice, the Monocati has a lot of uses, like even more than the rapier. Mm -hmm. You get more rapiers, though. I don't think you get another You get one, one more rapier at like, the end of the game. You get game. another Monocati? You should. No. You get the Soul oh, that's, at that's the cool. end. You get so many great weapons on the last level, and then you don't really have a chance to use them. Uh, I would not I'm put not him putting up there. Lowen way out there. I'll no. put him like, you need to get, uh, in the forest. You need to get Oswin up there. Ooh, also, there are going to be Cavaliers coming at the top. Oh, shoot. Leave Oswin to defend the... Uh... They, they won't be coming for a while, but it's just something to think about. So I'll probably get Bart Ray and Oswin to go back. I would they're... just I would just not move them really forward. I think we have this person. Okay. Well, your fault. Yeah, there are a lot of Steam games that I could play. Yeah. Yeah, I have, we have I, I have so many Steam games just from like Humble Bundles and stuff. <laughs> like Rocket Birds, Hard Boiled Chicken. Hard Boiled Chickens, which I've never played, but the title is intriguing. It's very intriguing. 
I actually think that game is like a super violent, like 2D side scroller, like Contra or something. Oh, I was chicken. wondering, like Meat Boy. Which are... Oh, I don't think it's a platformer, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, is it Meat Boy like a little disgusting though, with all of the meat particles going on? Meat Boy is a little gross. I don't know. I was, I never. I know a lot of people who really got into Super Meat Boy. I was never a fan. It was really hard and kind of just like not appealing to me. Even though I normally like really like. Two hard platforming. games. <laughs> what? You like hard games to an extent. Oh, that's real. That's not. Like, what hard games do I like? Shovel Knight? That's not that hard a game. Spelunky? Oh, Spelunky, yes. I do like Spelunky. That would be a great Let's Play series, too, although you've never played it. I have never played it at all. Is it like Dig Dug? No, it is not like Dig Dug. Oh, Spelunky's good. Anybody who's interested in Spelunky, look up the Awesome Games Done Quick Spelunky speedruns. They are insane. Oh, Awesome Games Done Quick in general is just awesome. Yeah, it, it's really good. It's in the title. I was watching some of those from summer uh, yesterday, Game... and it, yeah, they had a, they had some crazy ones. Oh, then no way I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Looks like Elwood can use a hand. Please hit. We're getting to the portion of the game where the enemies are getting stronger and faster. So and have better more. weapons. Well, they've had steel weapons for a few levels now, so... I guess. Yeah. Never miss slowing. Despite needing a hit. <laughs> Despite the long haircut. Is he a cavalier or a cavalier? Pretty sure it's cavalier. I don't think Cavalier is a thing. Elwood, don't fail me. <laughs> yeah! See, normal mode is so much better, because in hard mode I'd probably only get like 15 experience for that. Yeah. I Hard mode is, on Fire Emblem games is just killer. I think, okay, I think, you know, like if this goes well and we're like, hey, this is successful and people like it, I think doing a co-op one of the game two game would be so good, because that game is so long and so hard. I might be up for that. I'm not sure if I'd ever do that or Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> Which, like, I, I put, I've played the first, like, two chapters I'd of that. Be up for, I'd be up for playing that. I That one would just be, like, basically a blind flex play, because neither one of us is Yeah, that. oh, those are your units. I keep forgetting. I see Cavalier, and I'm like, I'm the only one who has a Cavalier! But as you can see, Will has lower accuracy than Rebecca. Yeah, for sure. And he never he never dodges like anything. Which, he so. really doesn't. Uh, javelin? Mm. Javelin's better. Yeah, I'll try it. Oh. He's gonna hit. Kent, you're normally so dependable. That's yeah, okay. He'll go after Will anyway. Oh, are you keeping an eye on the ballista? Oh no. Oh wait, what? I don't think there is a post. Oh, there must that's... only be one in Hector's story. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, I must be very used to playing Hector's story then. Matthew's pretty beaten up. Do you really I... want to do that? Well, I'm just, I'm just testing the walkers, essentially. I bet you can't wait till you get a longbow. Yeah, also, I think that Caval uh, Cavalier has a vulnerary Matthew could steal. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him up there. More wolf bail, Hector? I just want to make sure I'm pretty safe. Alright, you might want to use this as level as an opportunity to give him an Iron Axe. It is oh, better shoot, than the Hand Axe. About that. Yeah, be it. it's, it's a Seize the Throne level, so you've got time. Oh shoot, did I just put her in range with both of these clowns? No, no just, just one of those clowns. She's pretty good about not getting double-shotted, though. She won't get double shot and it's just annoying. The thing is, Priscilla, like, never dodges anything. That's true. Which is where Sarah's very useful, as after you give her a couple level ups, she starts dodging him like a machine. I kind of want to put him down here. Alright, alright. Also, Marcus can be there to uh, rescue any need. I really don't want to use Marcus if I don't have to. I just kind of want to block right, people fine. with him. That's fine. That's what Marcus is best at. Yeah. yeah so Rebecca might have dodged that. Rebecca would not have dodged she that. She probably wouldn't have, but I mean, she'd be way more likely than me. 
I'd rather he'd have like a, set, oh, no a 67 percent chance to hit that. Well, okay, I guess Matthew's not stealing those vulneraries. That's okay. I stole a bunch of them. Yeah, we haven't really used vulneraries a whole lot mainly because we're we gotta use our healers. Hector's already level seven. That is ridiculous. I kind of use him a lot. Granted, I think Lowen's pretty close to that as well. But... Ooh, oh, Lowen's double attacking! Oh man, easy fodder for Rebecca or Matthew. Probably Matthew, with the easy experience more. See, that's the nice thing about taking two healers, is you can have one healer heal. Exactly. Can Matthew actually, actually damage the Cavalier? I uh, will find that out. I'm gonna have Marcus go back, I think, and defend the Okay. Yeah, easy. Barely. So level up, probably. Still more than Wynn, yeah. though. <laughs> but Wynn had the Slim Sword at that point. Yeah, Will would not have attacked twice here. She's good. Once you level her up, yes. Do, 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 do. Hector's like, I'm gonna steal all the experience for myself! I'm just gonna put him up there to draw the guys out. Alright, Kent, this is your time to shine again. <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to critical there. I don't know why I put him close when he can just throw the gem. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, probably forgot it was a gem. Okay, so in the last video we spoiled up, we did a bunch of stuff. What should we talk about this video? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, do you think we're going to do two levels this video? Um, I'd be up for it. Alright, that'll be... These, the levels are definitely getting longer. That's they are, but the next one is the Raven level. That's true, and Link is the one who gets Raven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does not seem like a gentleman this at all! He's a new legendary. I kind of wish you had a guy as generic looking as that villager in your party. It'd be great. <laughs> so basically, you want a Donnie. Yes. Oh, Donnie in Fire Emblem Awakening is hilarious. He has a bucket on his head, and he's like, when you get him, he's like the worst unit, but if you get him, if so you like use a him a lot, level, he's, he's like the best unit. Best of the pre, uh, second generation units. Spoiler alert. Honestly, people probably, if they're watching this video, they probably are at least aware they've of played, Awakening. I feel like if people are playing this video, they've either played this game before, or they've played a Fire Emblem game. Probably Awakening, because I feel like that's... <laughs> Little Kid just led like this huge muscle man into his house yep. without asking Stranger his parents. Stranger Danger apparently is not a thing in this video. He has a giant battle axe! <laughs> At the same time, if Bart Ray knocks on your door, would you try to keep him out? Um, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that door's not keeping him there for long. <laughs> he's chopping through. He was Bart. Right? Police apparently do not exist in the Fire Emblem universe. Nope. People just hope that blue units come through and don't sack their villages. Well, remember, to some people, blue units are the bad units. I guess. Oh, hey, Merlin. <laughs> Merlin is a tent. Is pretty good at dodging. I believe yep. it or not. Whoa, oh, Bart yeah. Ray, very he was nice. Lucky. That would have. Torcus would not have dodged that. Yeah, but I think I'm done with Torcus. I have Hector. He is a dork. Oh, she shouldn't have dodged. She, 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 she had like a forty-three percent chance of not dodging. Uh, that. I was like, we could see she dodged that. Oh, critical! Whoa. See, that's why you can use her. Well, to be fair, Will can critical as well. Kind of, but not as high. Will has a 2% chance, Rebecca has a 5% chance, so... I guess as far as critical goes... 5 is a lot goes, higher than 2, though. As far as critical goes, yeah, I'd say that's a decent... Like, most people's critical difference. never gets above, like, 10. Unless you're using, like, a special weapon. <laughs> that guy's... we're fine. Yeah, uh, well, Wynn will go back. Are you not gonna use Florida? I'm gonna use her for the, uh, side quest where we engage the pirates, to be sure. After that, no, though, well, no. I might trade Will if you want to trade any units. I, I really don't want Will, but I'll keep that in mind. If you're like, I want to try using Florina, then like, yeah. I've used Florina before. She's hard to use. But I've used good. Florina. I've maxed her out, and she's still not great. She has low HP always, but she dodges eventually and does lots of criticals. She's just oh, Bart Ray. 
The problem with Pegasus Knights is they're just always, they always have that one just glaring weakness to arrows. Until you get the Delphi Shield. Yeah, but there's only like two of those, I think. There's one, actually. And let's be honest, we're gonna give that to Veda. She's not your average Wyvern Rider. Oh, Woe is Woe Wait. Veda oh. is like if Ellen DeGeneres was evil. And um, Road of That's Dragon. a very uh, vivid image. And Rhoda Dragon. Thanks, Oswin. At least you're dependable. Don't be a stranger, Dad. Thanks, Donkey Kong. Don't be a stranger. Oh, so you could do some funny Mario Party Let's Plays with, like, <laughs> I, us, okay. with us and our friends. From what I've seen, when you push that record button for Mario Party, the craziest stuff starts happening. Like, what do you mean? Watch the Runaway Guys Mario Party videos. Oh, okay, okay. You'll see. <laughs> In other words, you'd have to get out your blooper. Um... As in, like, be prepared for the most unbelievable luck-based stuff happening. Oh, really? Yeah, like, they got the Bowser suit, which apparently has, like, a 1% chance of happening if you land on the Bowser space in Mario Party 4. I did not even know it was a thing. The Bowser suit? Yeah, it's a suit. It turns you into Bowser and you can, like, steal, uh, either big money or stars from people when you pass them. Did not know about that. I didn't either. <laughs> That's how rare it is. Granted, we don't play the party mode for Mario Party uh, 4 all that much. Hector's not quite at that point where he's invincible yet. But he's getting there. Well, this guy can't damage him, so... <laughs> I had nothing to lose. It's true. Watch out for the mage, though. Okay, uh, Matthew might get double shotted by that guy. Oh, worth, wow, how perfect. It was worth the risk. Whoa, Marcus, overkill. <laughs> his horse, he must he... practice that move on a treadmill with his horse. <laughs> just like running in place. <laughs> uh... To get up speed. Apparently you can turn combat animations for Merlinus on. What? So, like, enemies attack you, and I guess you can see the tent dodge. I kinda, I kinda wanna see that. <laughs> okay! <laughs> yeah, I figured he'd go after the bar. Ooh, he also might double attack. Ooh, bar I hope the bar is not gonna die. Oh, he might. Uh, no, I don't think the Cavalier's gonna damage him 12. Probably not. I was counting on him to kill that unit before. Yeah, probably is fine. Just very good. Job. See, if I was gonna be reckless, I could be like, Barry could probably finish him up. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. Barry could really use a men's staff right about now, Priscilla. <laughs> Mend gives you more EXP. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, it actually did fill up all his HP. Maybe it's only Hector's story that the horses come towards Merlinus? No, they definitely do in other words too, I think. I okay. think you just have to do like a, kind of a long amount of turn. Well, and see, when I play Fire Emblem, I tend to play slow. Unless I'm playing Awakening and then I can just see, I, 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 play, I play a little more there. recklessly, I think. <laughs> I think you have guys die more frequently than I do. I usually play through without anybody dying. Well, without saving people die? Uh, usually I'll have like one or two characters die and I'll restart a little But we're not doing that in this playthrough. Unless it's a lord. Well, that's true. Which could mean if you're like, Oh no, we like, can even die! Okay, it's a tough walk you would purposefully you like got, Your guys die. have to help take out this guy then. Yeah, absolutely. I gotta save this one. I feel like if one of our guys ever does die, we're gonna Probably. abuse it so much. Just be like, oh well, uh, my lord died! <laughs> Hey, Lynn, could you critical for me, girl? Nope. Oh well, he's dead next turn. I might be- I'd definitely be up for trading Sane if you want. I don't feel really like Sane. Alright. I don't need another Cavalier. Neither do I! <laughs> and I'm getting Isadora as well, so... Oh, yeah. I already have Marcus and Ken. 
That's true. Oh, I mean, Barry's still here. So... Actually, wait, just in case he misses. <laughs> okay, good. Are you gonna use Barry, you think? I mean, I might as well give him some level ups, because you'll probably uh, I'll have to trade him to you. Uh, otherwise. He's only all three, though. In that so, day. back to our discussion. Which one? Um, about your current Let's Play. Oh, alright. So, you're doing, you think, Pretty Fish 2 at, yeah. the, cur at the current moment, and uh, Pikmin 3. So, yeah. Pikmin 3, I have not played, but I assume, based on the other games, it would be kind of a longer one, especially if you're playing blind. Probably. Um, Pretty Fish 2, I, I, I don't see being more than, like, three plays. <laughs> three episodes, yeah. Oh, that's yours. You can just have him wait. Okay. So, um... That'll be short, yeah. So, when you finish that, are you gonna go to another Kuban Star Shaman game, you think? Or are you gonna... <sighs> I'm still the, thinking about it. I'm sorry, also, I'm I, I know eventually there's gonna be the next Lemmings contest, and I try to play through those levels as well. Sure. But that'll be, like, at least a month or two. Gotcha. Yeah, and then, um, I know, actually, I guess you can edit this out if you don't want to say this. Go ahead. But, um, I know you talked about doing, and you, I think you even mentioned it in this Let's Play, about doing some one-off Let's Plays, just with, like, yeah. either fun, like, little fun games, or games where you're like, I don't want to do a full Let's Play of this, but, you know, maybe just, like, have some fun with it. Right. Or multiplayer games, potentially. Yeah. Um, what are some of your ideas for that? Really, probably just random games where I'm like, this is fun, but it's not really a game. Kind of like Crazy Taxi, where it's like, it doesn't really have a campaign mode. It's just very simple, like, run around, have fun. Stuff like that. Maybe, sure. like, GameCube Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh. Would you be showing our town? Uh, no. I couldn't, because it uses our real names. No, you're Mario. It shows your real name. Sure. Well, I mean, I guess I don't have to show the startup screen, but... The animals might be like, hey, what's blah 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 up to these days? I don't know. It's not that big a deal, but whatever. Oh, we'll see. I might do that. Alright, Lynn, can you please finally finish this guy off? What's our title is Windfall from Wind Waker, I think, right? With a lowercase W, yep. Yep. We've got some awesome animals in that, like Aziz the Lion. Do we still have him? Thank we do, we lie. do. Okay. Uh, we also have Wolfgane. Um... I want to say we have Bob the Cat. That's my guy. I, again, I'm like, oh, Cavalier must be mine! <laughs> and, you know, Barry's gonna go back to maybe take out those. I don't think Marcus are either, though. I don't want Marcus to hog all the experience. Okay. Who needs HP? Nephew needs HP. But I'll be in range of the Archer. Maybe next time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Triceratops. That would be a good Let's Play. Did you call Mason for N64? That's true. Uh, I think it's your turn. Have you played? Have you done any Let's Plays of N64 games? Donkey Kong 64, Zero Gold Bananas. Awesome Let's Play, oh, by yeah, the way. I you should totally check it I out. I forgot you did that. She beat up. If you know. Who? Rebecca? Um, maybe. No. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Yeah, I've only done Donkey Kong 64. Oh, I might do Banjo soon. Really like Banjo. Great game. Yeah, it's a good game. I'm sure you wish you were gonna be like, you should play Blast Corps! <laughs> oh, Blast Corps is great. That is an underrated N64 game. Oh, Steel Bow, jeez. Oh, and I guess we could do 1080 as like a one-off multiplayer. <laughs> Work your body. Work, Work your body. body. <laughs> I was gonna be. Are you healing the enemy? 1080 is another on the N64. Like it doesn't have a lot of great games, but the, but the games it does have are, are really great. Yeah. yeah, like some of my probably some of my like favorite games of all time. Most of my favorite games. Definitely of all time. my top two favorite games of all time around that: Ocarina and Paper Mario. Oh, Paper Mario. Is Which I know some people are like, well, Paper Mario Fosun New Door is better, and it probably is a better game, but I personally Paper like Ma Paper Mario Paper one? Mario Fosun New Door is amazing, and it's so funny, but Paper Mario 1 just has so much charm to it. Yeah, but 
the thing is, like, saying, oh, this game is so much charm, that can mean a lot of things. But, I agree, I have so much nostalgia for the first Fire Emblem, or <laughs> for the first Paper Mario. Bakker's got a javelin, beware. Uh, Hector is pretty much useful at this point. Pretty much, yeah. Unless there's, unless there happens to be magic. Uh, do you want an Iron Axe? Uh, I mean, if you don't have anything better for one to do, yeah, go for it. I'll get one too. And I guess Steel Sword. Why not? I'm surprised you haven't been like. I'm surprised you haven't been trying to get like Marty to do. Uh, Kirby Air Ride with you. Oh, I definitely plan on that. I definitely plan on that. <laughs> Would you guys just be doing City Trial, though? Most likely. That's like all you... Oh, City know. Trial's the best mode! So, the two of them love Kirby Air Ride. City Trial is the best mode, for sure. I just do oh, not like Sarah! I, uh, I understand it's like why racing, you don't like it. It's a racing it. game where the racing part is bad. Racing part's not bad. Uh, he's uh, gonna die I know he will. I'm debating it just leaves me in there because he'll probably attack. Or wait, hang on. Okay, no crit chance. That's good. Basically, at this point, I just want experience. That's oh, nice dodge, Lowen. Never miss Lowen. Oh, Lowen! You, you missed! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there come the Cavaliers. Oh, we're fine. We can see Iron the Lance. Just Iron get, Lance. Just get Ella Wood in place. We, we can beat this on the next turn. Oh. Before. I want to turn on combat animation for my Linus. Oh, you can't. Darn it! Yeah, I was like, I don't think so. It seems like needless animation they'd have to do. Okay, well, when pull back, Sarah wants to heal you. So she's got another heal, but... Now, do you prefer doing, um, like, Let's Plays or Blind Let's Plays? Probably Let's Plays, just because my one experience of a Blind Let's Play, uh, didn't go well, but that might change. Was that Mighty Number 9? Yeah. It sounded like you beat it. I did beat it, and that the thing is, that's one of those games where if I was, if I was uh, not doing a Let's Play, I would probably would have abandoned it and not beaten it. Oh, really? You don't think you ever would have finished it? It would probably be one of those games where I'm like, oh, the final level is so annoying, I'll beat it later and probably never will. Or like five years later. So you're, like, are, oh, you happy, are you happy you beat it? Or are you like, I should I am like happy beat I beat Mega it. Man 7 or 8? <laughs> <laughs> I've beaten Mega Man 7. Oh, have you? I have, oh. yeah. Final boss is absolutely ridiculous, but... The, oh, the thing about Mega Man where it's like... At least Mega Man for the crazy bosses, you have energy tanks. Mighty Number no. 9, you do not. That's kind of crazy. There could be, uh, like, achievements and trophies for Money Number 9, which I'm sure are not on the Wii U, but I'm sure there's some version of that in-game. Are, like, insane. Mm -hmm. You're basically just like, well, Hector's not gonna do it. Well, Hector has finished off the last... boss, so... Because <laughs> okay. I just realized Oswin finished off the so... Might as well. So help me if Hector crits. Okay, good. That'd be hilarious. Hector's a high enough level. Level is only like five. And it's his story, so you know. Way to go, Will. Yeah, we're good. Uh, you know what? I'm good. Alright, I think Elwood will finish him off then. Come on, Elwood, you got this? Yeah! <laughs> he sounded so oh, bored, he's like, I've I'm been just defeated. gonna let you see. Okay, he's like, I've been defeated? Such a shame. Nice level up! Where would they attack Marcus when they could attack Oswin? Probably because Oswin is better defense. So, okay, at this point, I'm sorry I'm back on your Let's Plays. I, I should watch your channel. No, that's fine. So you have done. Um, 
That's not a lot. Popeye joins the parade. Popeye goes to the moon. Fatty Bear. Fatty Popeye Bear. and Fatty Bear's activity pack. Popeye goes to the zoo. Yep. Uh, Bear Storming technically doesn't count as its own. Let's play that. Um, the Lemmings. Lemmings. Pimo Lems. Uh, uh, my own Lemmings two. pack. Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. Mega or, Man 1 and 2. Mega Man 1 and 2. Mighty Number no. 9. Donkey Kong 64. And then Oracle of Seasons Curse. That's a lot. I just said heal elevated for so oh, uh, wow. I want to heal Hector first, though. You can move Hector back. Okay. Okay. Oh, your heal broke. Da -da 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 -da. That's fine, I have another one. Now, okay, question. Do you ever get them to level 10 and upgrade them instead of 20? Very rarely. I don't do it, like, 90% of the time. like... I try to level them up to 20 almost all the time. No, no, don't move him back. Just move well, his... well, no, I want to heal him with Sarah. Oh. Or do you want Priscilla to heal him? I would, yeah, that's what I was Okay. Yeah. Just so this is over. Heal or mend? we will just do heals. I bet it will not be enough. Oh! I'm impressed, Priscilla. The Troubadour. That was pretty good. Much better thing. level up than, uh. <laughs> I would just seize the thing. Hey, on. Oh, Marcus killed them both. Typical Marcus. They went after Marcus, what can I tell you? Wow. He was not a fierce enemy! He was easy. So, how far do you think we'll make it before somebody dies? Or do you think we'll beat the whole game without anybody dying? I want to beat the whole game without anybody dying, but I don't think that's the case. Lynn is basically like the Pocahontas of this game. Or she's um... raised by the American Prairie. <laughs> Raised by the plains. Yep. He's King Utho's brother. Like Utho Pendragon from Kid Arthur. How has there never been a good Kid Arthur movie or game, by the way? Um, I like, don't know. It should be like the easiest thing to make into a movie, because King Arthur is awesome. King Arthur is awesome, but... And yet, like, Sword in the Stone, Sword the Stone is the best. probably one of the worst Disney movies. And it's, yeah, and it's not very good. I'm gonna, we're gonna get so many angry commenters yeah, eventually. Apo we're apologize to like, oh, be like, Hulk already was big in 2020, and I went back to watch really Let's Plays, and oh my gosh, they hit so like a- Sword the Stone, unsubscribe! <laughs> it's good to see you, America. Well, Matt America, this really is a pleasant surprise. Hello, America, has it really been a year? Oh, it's been a year. <laughs> it's been quite a year. Election season's coming up. This will probably go up after election season. Yeah. Wonder where America is. Uh, kid, it's in North America. <laughs> Where is America? It's in the hands of. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have two different versions, so you can just insert the <laughs> no, one. No, please don't. Like President Donald Trump, President Hillary Clinton, <laughs> or for President right Ralph in. Nader. <laughs> I'm telling you, it could have been Nader's year, but it, it could have. That's been as political year. as we're gonna get. Oh man. He's oh, dying man. too. Everybody's just man. El Ethidol is like a killing machine. I can't believe you don't get to fight this guy. Also, that guy has purple hair. Like, what is up with that? Purple hair is not natural. But yet, his son has normal colored hair. So. Oh yeah, he's Eric's dad, right? Yeah. So yeah, he has the the chin shape. <laughs> <laughs> and the big nose. And the sneer. This music is creepy. It's supposed to be. Oh, here we meet another big character, Layla. Oh yeah, she's cool. Now, if you play Lynn's story, you hear more about her, correct? No. Nope. She does not appear until now. No, no, she doesn't appear, but doesn't Matthew talk about trying to see his friend? Oh, maybe. There's lots oh, of little right. subtle things. 